Hey yo, what is up, the people of my channel? So I am here back today. I said I just said I'm here back today. I'm here again. Let me rethink that. I'm here for another day on this channel. There we go. Hold on. Okay, sorry, my my uh, dad texted me. All right, I'm here again today on this channel, and today's video is gonna be about my top 10 baseball cards, in my opinion, all right? And yes, I did get a haircut, and I just worked out. As you can see, I'm kinda sweaty. Had all that stuff set up. All right, so I'm gonna go get a protein shake, and I'll be back, and we'll finish off this video. All right, I'm back here with my protein. <clears throat> that was strong. All right, so we got my top 10 baseball cards here. You guys can't even see it. Unless if you pause the video and like take a screenshot and like zoom in, but that would be like invading my privacy or something. I'm not sure. Let me just move this camera over because the glare off my forehead is insane. The glare off my head is insane still. Like, look at that. Just... <laughs> Alright, so here we have my top 10 baseball cards. Let me just count and make sure there's 10 real quick. <laughs> what, what kind of person, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't have 10 of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, we have 10 cards. So... Scoot over. Here my here's number ten on my list. I have Max Scherzer card. Max Scherzer. Who I love Max Scherzer, man. He was a good baseball player and he still is. I think he's like thirty six years old. And he is a beast. His stat lines. Jeez, oh, Pete. Oh, wow. This is, yeah, this is a League Leaders one. I totally forgot. As a League Leaders for most strike. No, most wins. Okay. And this one was from 2018. He had 18 wins. All right, next card. I don't know why this one is so important to me. Well, I know why. It's because I have his autograph. Zach Cozart. Obviously, I have his autograph whenever he was with the Reds. This one is a card with angels. But, like, I just came across it one day and I was like, holy crap. I have his autograph and it was, it was stuck in my head. That I've loved that card ever since. Now, this one is very special to me. This is emotionally special. All right. Chris Bryant. Oh, the glare. The glare. Right. Probably just show you my next card, but the glare. Look at that. Chris Bryant. Championship card. All right. This one's so special to me because my dad's favorite team was the Cubs. <clears throat> and, like, I never thought the Cubs would win a champion a world series in my lifetime and like they won it and i was just like holy crap my dad would be so proud of the cubs and then i came across this card one day in florida actually which i'm gonna be adding to a lot of my collections in florida and i just knew i had to buy it this one is so special this next card is so special to me because I've loved this player my whole life, and he he is almost defined the game of baseball. Albert Pujols. Um, he was he's just so good and he's so humble, and I just I love him to death. Next up, we got Reggie Jackson. Well, oh, let me. Reggie Jackson, five hundredth. Career homer, 
card. I love that one because it's just like so old and so. I guess it has a little bit of value other than it's wrinkled all over the place. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's wrinkled all over the place. But I just like that card. Next up, we have one of the old timers. Louis Garrett. Louis Gehrig. Louis Gehrig. I gotta emphasize the G. Louis Gehrig. I, I love this card just because it's like so old and I also came across this one in Florida. And I just know I had to buy it because I, I love old cards. Alright. And I feel like it brings more value to it. And it's just so amazing. Next up. This one is not in a case, which it, I feel like it should be. Cow Ripken. Cow Ripken was a beast. All right. Yeah. I just love this card because, I don't know, he's just an old card and he was a great player, very humble. Puts up classes still, I think, to this day about baseball and just lessons. Next up, one of my favorite cards. He was actually a steroid head. Him and Sammy Sosa battled it out. Bet you can't guess who it is. Mark my freaking Guire. Yes, sir. I love Mark McGuire, dude. And he was definitely a steroid head. No matter who believes it, no matter who doesn't believe it, he was obviously a steroid head. I think he actually tested positive for steroids. I mean, he was just a power hitter. I love that. I love power hitters. Not one myself, <laughs> but I love power hitters. These next two cards are newer cards, actually. And they play positions that I have mainly play. Uh, it's hard, but I I am I was a little biased about this, and I did put a red this card as my number one card. So number two, we've got Mike Trout. All right, Mike Trout is a beast center fielder, and he's been breaking records ever since he's been in the MLB. He plays center field mainly, especially now that I play right best center fielder of all time I'm kidding I'm not the best center fielder of all time this guy is and that's why I love him so much he's the his ability to track the ball his ability to hit the ball is just amazing number one totally not biased card Eugenio Suarez all right oh wait oh my I'm just now seeing the reflection of, like, look, right there. That's the reflection of the camera. I didn't even see that the whole time. I'm so stupid. I was wondering why it wouldn't go away, and then that's just, wow. But as you can see, I love this card because the, the card art on it, like, honestly. And then him blowing the bubble. Uh, I'm probably going to buy a... Eugenio Suarez um, bobblehead or like Funko Pop yeah Funko Pop of him blowing a bubble like that in Florida I know they have uh, Funko Pops of him with the blowing the bubble and it's like it's like painted gold and it's like 150 bucks I was like no no I'm not spending 150 bucks on it but I just love Suarez he also plays third base I played that this year just amazing at everything. No, I'm kidding. Other than posting YouTube videos, I'm amazing at everything but posting YouTube videos. Making good content. I shouldn't say posting YouTube videos. I remember to do it every single day other than the time it freaking jacked me out of it. But I I'm just lack good content. But you're seeing the change. You're seeing a slight change. Are you? Yeah, that's the video. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.